Maiden speech, Holly Mumby Croft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and it's good to hear this side of the House so united in their support for Scunthorpe. Yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a real pleasure to follow the Honourable Member for Rhonda today. First of all, I want to pay tribute to my predecessor, Nick Dakin, who represented yeah. Scunthorpe oh. County between 2010 and 2019. And I know that Nick uh, did that job uh, with a very great deal of dedication and yeah. a genuine desire to help our residents. Yeah. 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 I'm very glad to represent my hometown as part of a varied and beautiful constituency, which includes not only Scunthorpe, but Messingham, Bottisford, Yaddlethorpe, Curtin, Home, East Butterwick, Redburn, Scorby, Scorby Brook, Hibblestow, Gainsthorpe, Cadney, Howsham, Cleetham, Manton and Greetwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a proud Scunthorpe lass, the granddaughter of a 30-year steelworking veteran, I am particularly proud to stand here today as the first MP for Scunthorpe County who was actually born in Scunthorpe yeah. Hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Across this land, and indeed across the world, when people hear the word Scunthorpe, they think of steel. And we have had a very challenging time in Scunthorpe over the last months, and my thoughts are very much with our steelworkers today. But we are still living up to our heritage. We are still making steel, and we look forward to doing that for many yeah, years to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Few who visit our industrial cathedral will ever forget the sight of red hot metal, and I was delighted to welcome the Secretary of State uh, for Business to Scunthorpe only a couple of weeks ago to feel the heat on his face in our rod mill. We were very well looked after, <laughs> and I was extremely proud to show him how hard we work in Scunthorpe. Unfortunately, when I suggested during the visit that I could go and watch the steel being tapped as we had done as kids, I quickly discovered that health and safety has tightened up somewhat since the <laughs> 1990s and that a little extra training and a flame-proof suit was required for that activity. Outrageous. Scunthorpe emerged in the 19th century as an extraction point for ironstone and later as its own iron producer, eventually becoming our nation's greatest steel hub. Our steel is known for its exceptional quality and durability. Throughout the nation's history, we have supported infrastructure projects. Our works are truly powered not by coke, but by our steel workers. They are strong, stoic people who have genuine pride in their work, and I know that the friendships forged there can last a lifetime. Yeah. And I'm not saying all this purely because my, my granddad is watching at home, but because of him, my memories of our steelworks are of steel toe capped boots and a soot covered donkey jacket and trips around the site on a train. And I'm very excited, Mr. Deputy Speaker, to have been invited by the Appleby Frodingham Railway Preservation Society to relive some of those memories. Yeah, yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, I truly believe that members of this House and indeed people across this country will agree on the importance to our nation of keeping a truly integrated steelworks. Having home produced genuinely world class steel not only serves very strategic interests for our nation, it is integral to the Prime Minister's mission to level up the North. And I thank the Government for the support that they have shown to Scunthorpe over the last months. Steel is our backbone, but it is by no means all there is to the Scunthorpe constituency. We are blessed with wonderful countryside, down-to-earth, generous, decent people, yeah, yeah. and a proud history of small businesses, many of them expanding over generations to employ lots of people within our area. North Lincolnshire, in a recent poll, was described as the best place in the UK to bring up a family, and as a mum and an auntie, I can attest to that. A few days after I was elected to this place, I was invited by Scunthorpe Cheerleading Academy to open a fantastic new cheerleading facility in Scunthorpe. I was lifted into the air to be a flyer in a pyramid, which is <laughs> uh, frankly not a sentence I ever expected uh, to say. We have a vibrant selection of community groups within my constituency, people who give their time freely. Volunteers truly do make our area better, and I want to thank them. Mr Deputy Speaker, having got Brexit done and having worked with the Government towards securing the future of our steelworks, 
I will now work to see more funding for our schools. I will be fighting to widen the A15. It is a Roman road, and frankly, it is now time it was widened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will also be fighting to upgrade Scunthorpe Hospital, the hospital where I was born. And I thank the Secretary of State for agreeing to visit and to discuss the challenges that we face. There will always be more to do, and I look forward to working with our Council leader, Rob Waltham, on many future projects. My thoughts today are very much with those affected by flooding. I'm particularly aware of the efforts of the Honourable Member for Brig and Gaul as he seeks to help those in his constituency. And I will be working with colleagues in a bid to secure a National Flood Resilience Centre on a site in Scunthorpe. And I thank both sides of the House where colleagues have supported that project. It's an oven-ready scheme that would allow us to provide world-class training, planning and research to mitigate against future flooding events. And I look forward to continuing to work with my constituency neighbour, the Honourable Member for Brigham Gaul, who has been a huge help and support to me in these early weeks in this place. And he knows that I see him very much as a father figure. A grandfather figure, him, him being, him being a, a generation older than I am. I am proud to represent a constituency that has quietly given so much to this nation over the years. If you came to this place by train, we probably made the tracks. If you came in a car, we probably made the wire in your tyres. And it's thanks to Russell Ductile Castings that we are dry, as they're a foundry in my constituency and made the tiles on this roof. <laughs> For many years, the people of Scunthorpe and its surrounding areas have played a quiet but crucial role in the success of this country, and I look forward to fighting for Scunthorpe to be levelled up. Yeah. Yeah.